And lo and behold, we've arrived in the kitchen and in the nick of time, because I'm kind of hungry. Many of us have heard the campaign, The Other White Meat. Of course, it promotes pork in the kitchen. Nancy Freeman is here with some recipes for cooking pork from the farm families of Mississippi. And you're talking about one of my favorites here because you got some ham, Nancy. It looks like you got some muffins. What I are do. Those? those are sausage muffins. Very wow. easy to make and a great treat to have. And we're going to show that, as a matter of fact, because pork is wonderful. And you know, this time of the year, Easter's coming up. A lot of people do hams this time of year. It's great all the time. Um, basic some plain flour we're going to add a little baking powder we're going to add some salt and a little bit of sugar is added into this, this is, is this kind of a basic. southern recipe or? it is well it's just one i've done for years uh, that i enjoyed it's just basic muffins that i added a little bit of extra zip to to make it something extra different extra special extra special there you go in the second bowl i'm going to add a little bit of melted margarine i've got a little bit of milk and I'm adding a egg that's been slightly beaten. Now, Nancy, when we talk about farm families of Mississippi uh, in the context of pork, are there a lot of uh, pork farmers here Actually, in the state Actually, there are. There's 439 uh, pork producing farms here in the state of Mississippi. And this past year alone, they contributed over $96 million to our state's economy. So yes, it is very important to our state. And you know, the thing about pork is that it is really a very calorie conscious meal uh, meat of the three ounce serving you only get about 165 calories and it's even moderately low in cholesterol which a lot of people might not would think since it's an animal product but it really is 67 milligrams of so of uh, cholesterol to a serving yeah, good. so it's good and, and you know is bacon sausage. is like my favorite thing in the world you know there's so, something about okay. it bacon is one of those things that when you smell bacon cooking you just kind of go mm. you jump right out of bed <laughs> it makes I'm you want to come out <laughs> bacon is what makes the eggs and the pancakes and all the other things wonderful all I did was added some cooked sausage to this and then I've taken this and stirred it up and this is going to go into our muffin tins and it cooks for about 12 to 15 minutes in your oven at 350 it comes out with a really nice muffin that you can use and the great thing about this if you want to make them ahead of time they freeze beautifully or you can make them up and put them in the refrigerator and then just pop them in a microwave oven to warm them up Nancy, the next about day. a minute left do you want to talk right. a little bit about the I ham, do or? Baked ham is a favorite. If you want this one, this is a boneless uh, smoked ham. It takes about 15 minutes per pound baking it. Really simple. One trick I like to do is put it on a rack, put about a half a cup of water underneath it mm -hmm. so that when it cooks, it steams Moist. up and then keeps the moisture in. Okay. And here's something that folks are going to want to go to that website for, and it is a Waldorf sauce. Oh, Nancy, you've Much like a done salad. yourself. This has got lovely raisins, apple, celery, walnuts in it. It is delicious. It's got a great apple juice and cinnamon base on it and I guarantee you it's going to be something that folks are going to want on their Easter ham well, and all the time. I got news for you folks. I'm in the mood for some of those sausage muffins. I just can't wait. Uh, Nancy, uh, happy Easter Thank ahead you. of this weekend and thanks Same for being you. with us uh, on the pleasure. show today. The Farm Families of Mississippi with pork under the spotlight this afternoon. That wraps up the four o'clock show. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you back here in 30 minutes just in time for the news at five.